Guys, it's been a minute and it's time for an unboxing of some of my favorite tools. You know what they are. You saw the title, PB Swiss. So, I've already gotten one of these in. And yes, these are the 145th anniversary of PB Swiss tools. So they are releasing a few things. I don't know if there will be more or not, but it's a good time to keep an eye out if you're into this kind of thing. These are 145 year anniversary tools, so it's going to be a limited time that you can get stuff like this. They're doing a limited number of each of these also. So it's very, I don't know, it's going to be something you're not going to be able to get very soon. So if you're as into PB Swiss as I am, you don't mind paying just a little extra premium for maybe some colors and styles that you're probably never going to see again. Now's your chance. So this company here, DRPD, I've ordered from them for a while now. These, The tool lady is also absolutely fantastic. I'll have all these people linked down below if I can remember to do that for you guys. But if you want this kind of stuff, you're going to have to jump on it quickly. I ordered this one last month and so i've already been using it that's why it's on the truck and i just had to run out and get it off the truck it's actually got a nice dirt patina going on already but 145th right there pb swiss tools made in switzerland this is okay let me preface this by saying these are not tools anybody needs this is tools when you already have the tools and you want something neat. Let's say just something that makes you happy. This is going to do nothing for your customers, okay? Well, actually this set I've had some reactions to because I'm actually using this. This is not a wall hanger for me. Look at this driver set right here. Yeah, they're all gold. So, well, more of a brass look, but wow absolutely stunning set so these are their shafts that are made like this right here so you have these wings on the side on each side and then you have the little ball socket here at the back and this knurling right through here that it's a very solid little unit every single one of them are serial numbered like pb swiss does this will be, it will have all the information on here. Phillips 1, max 3.2 Newton meters, PB215 slash PH1. It'll have the PB Swiss logo, then the knurling, and then a serial number right here on the shaft. So you have all that information, if it will actually focus and you see it, but it's so small, it's a little difficult even for me in person. So you have a number one Phillips in here, a number two Phillips, and then a super neat thing you don't see very often, an extremely sharp scratch all right here. I mean, this thing is ridiculously pointy. So kind of a neat thing to have in your set. If you need to make a mark right where you're gonna do something, keeps your screw from walking, you can make a little pin prick in the wood and then your screw head will set right there so you can drive it. Starting with a five, yeah, I didn't have that all the way in there. But starting with a size 5 in the slotted drivers, these are parallel tips all the way through this entire set, I believe. Yes, it will even extend. This set goes all the way 5, 4, 3, and 2 in full-size shaft drivers that we'll use with the same handle that the Phillips and the Scratch all work with that I'll show you here in a second. Then you also get these two little bitty drivers right here. Also slotted drivers in a zero and a one. And yes, they are also, if we can get a focus here, they're also parallel tips right there. So all the way down to a zero in parallel tip. To me, I, I just love quality and there is nothing else to be said about this set right here. No, it's not gonna be cheap. And no, it's not overpriced, okay? Obviously, people are buying it, including me. And no, I get no discounts on this stuff. I'm paying what you're paying, okay? So, yes, yeah, somebody, somebody will buy this stuff. The handle that this comes with looks like this right here. All of these have the gold writing on them for PB Swiss Tools, all that. The PB Guarantee there on the back. Swiss Made. All of that good stuff. So let's snap one of these in and show you how this locks up. So this blade right here goes in 
it'll line up with those wings. It does have a spot where this cannot twist in here. It fits right in those wings. It'll go to the back and then push. You hear that click. And now you have your screwdriver ready to use right there. So locks up super nice. And then you have that knurling right here for your finger if you want to turn it for finer work, all that good stuff. I love, I love a little knurling on most of my tools. It's just, it's a hand tool thing. It gives you that positive grip. All that good stuff that some of us are just crazy about on really nice tools. I love getting to make a video like this because you get to see exactly how much I really like a high-end quality tool. But this right here is just pure tool snobbery, to be honest. Um, there's no one needs this, but some of us really want it. So another peek at this beautiful set right here. PB Swiss. They've got a history of ambition, 145 years right here on the back. And then this rolls right up. You just roll this little tool roll right up like that. Flip this around, Velcro's in. You have this nice little set to carry. I've been carrying this in jobs all over because it seems to have most of what I need for a screwdriver. If I, you know, I don't know. I still, I carry my ratcheting PB Swiss all the time. The one with the, the bunch of bits it holds in the handle, all that good stuff. I've got like five of those now. I have them in every bag. So no, this is not a need. This is something I'm carrying just because it's really fun to carry. And then after I got that and enjoyed using it for a while, what does PB Swiss do but release another 145th anniversary version of a tool? And it is the Insider Anniversary Edition right here. So let's go ahead and pop this open and check out everything that it's got. We've had the Insider here on the channel before. I have several of the Insiders, but the opportunity for a 145th year anniversary one. Oh, look, in a nice little red presentation right there. Pop that out. This is going to be a belt clip, of course. So we have the 145 years right here on the belt clip. And on this one, it's in red, or it's in white on this one. So nice little contrast there. The belt clip is Velcro, so you can put it over your belt, not have to take your belt off and slide it on. That's kind of a peeve of mine on some of these things. If you have to take your belt off to put your tool on, it's super annoying, and I'm just not going to use the case because I don't know. I'm not going to end up stuck like that. I love being able to just on and off if I want to. So this fits nicely in here like that. The case actually tapers to the bottom, so it fits the driver shape very nicely there. The top here, I got the red one. And yes, this is one that smells like vanilla. If you've not gotten deeply into PB Swiss tools, you may not know, their acetate handles that they use on some of them, their classic drivers and the insiders, are infused with vanilla in the process because acetate really has kind of a bad smell. So by adding that vanilla, now when you open your toolbox or you pull one of these out, you get hit with a vanilla scent, a nice light vanilla scent. So it it negates that stinky smell of acetate. So anyway, with this one, you have a little bit of knurling on each side right there, so you can just pull this right straight up out like that, and it snaps in out here at the tip. You can see that as it comes up, it'll snap in right there. It won't fall back down. And there is your bit carousel right there at the top. And flipping around, we have Phillips 1, Phillips 2. We have three sizes of slotted. And we have Torx 10, 15, and 20 in here. So nice selection of Torx, Phillips, and slotted, which really makes it a perfect setup for me. I imagine they have this in a, in a posi version as well, but for me, Phillips is where it's really at. I go through a ton of those bits. But what I end up doing with this, I usually only need one size in slotted driver in these. So I'll pull two of those out and I'll put in a couple more sizes that I use. Like for instance, for me, it's gonna be a Torx 25. I run into a lot of T25s. And then I like to change out some of those bits also, the Torx versions for the security Torx that have the hole in the tip because I work a lot on commercial and there's a lot like that. And if you have a Torx security bit, it will work on a normal Torx and a security, but a normal Torx won't work on the security. So it gives me just a little more flexibility in my driver handles and something we probably ought to visit in the future and show you how I've set up some of these drivers now instead of just how they come from the factory. The extra bits, I just keep some bit boxes from PB Swiss in my Roland tool chest here in the shop. 
and I can work them in and out of there as I need one or break a bit or something, which I haven't actually broken a PB Swiss bit yet. I've broken a few Veras. I've not broken these. So anyway, that is that beautiful Insider Edition right there in 145th year edition. Man, how classy is that? So that would actually be a really neat little wearing case. I've not seen any of the normal insiders actually come with a case. So that's kind of kind of nice and different. I then added, and no, I did not order a set here of these bits. I ordered the bits individually and then ordered a bit rail also because I wanted another one for my, uh, for my bit block. So they went ahead and populated it for me there. But these are some of the things that are items that I need more of. Like these three right here on the end, we'll just go ahead and roll them right out because they need to go on the truck. These are Phillips number two, but they're in, I want to say this is the 100 millimeter versions, but I love these long ones like this, especially for hanging blinds and stuff, and they end up going in my impact, really. I use them a ton. So I'm just slowly trying to transfer a lot of my bits over to PB Swiss, slowly because when you price these, you'll see why. Also, I love their impact little quarter inch bit holders right here. I'd gotten some in other sets and end up adding several more. I got the short version this time and another of the long version. I have one of these in my impact right now. They're fantastic. The build and the magnets are why I use them. If you look in there, I don't know if you can actually see, there is a retaining ring inside there as well as an extremely strong magnet at the back. So they're just built to a different level than a lot of stuff that I use. So I, I love quality tools, if I haven't said that enough already. Then these, of course, they're like five bucks or something. They just go in the bit block. I needed a little more space in there. But yeah, so I added me a handful of stuff that I needed and really I threw these in and this is a little trick I use with a lot of these companies. There'll be a free, ship, a free shipping threshold. So if you order a tool like this and it's not enough money to get you to free shipping, now you add a few more little sundries that you need, kind of keep you a little list of things as you think of them. That way you're never paying shipping if you can help it. But anyway, I didn't get anything for making this video and I am not affiliated with PB Swiss at all. I just am a massive fan of their hand tools. So if you got anything out of this video, leave me a good comment down there below. Let me know what you think of it. If you've watched a tool snob video of this level, then you know you need to be a part of the channel. So hit that subscribe button over there while you're here. Thank you guys for being here. I enjoy hanging out with people that love this stuff as much as I do. Let me know what you think of the 145 year tools. And do you think they'll have any more of them? I'm really excited. And you know me, my finger is right on the order button as soon as they release another one. This is just, this is right up my alley. Thank you guys. We'll see you next week.